And this is Ken Kratzer at West Point. I've got a couple here who uh, uh, sun started at West Point today for our day, and uh, they're from Wisconsin. Uh, Jess, if you could introduce yourselves for us. I'm Deb Pritchard. And I'm David Pritchard. That's great. Great to meet you. Why did your son uh, decide to go to West Point? Oh, I think he has been wanting to go to West Point since he was a sophomore in high school. Um, he, ever since he was a child, I remember him uh, trying to lead around his, his buddies uh, through little um, things on our farm. He would grab a group of them and go off into the woods and stuff and, and just seemed to like to lead and also liked to pack and liked adventures. And I, we saw him change a lot in the last couple of years of high school where he actually got really serious about it and saw that it was a, a smart career move as well as a great way to serve his country. And I understand that, uh, that he attended Boys State in Wisconsin and uh, that he enjoyed that program. Tell us about that. Well, he went to Badger Boys State. Um, he'd already decided that he wanted to come here. And uh, he just felt that that would help him with his leadership to get to know more about politics and things like that. So he was... Uh, uh, he was heading for here, but he was also active in pursuing the Boys State. But it's more of an elective thing there. Um, you don't really pursue it. They pick you mm -hmm. for Boys State. So somebody saw leadership in him at, at his senior, uh, junior year, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, what, just what town are you from in Wisconsin? We're in a little town called Exonia, I-X-O-N-I-A. We're farmers. And, uh, Where is that near? It's halfway between Milwaukee and Madison. Okay, I've been through there. Hey, t tell us a little bit about uh, what the day has been like, our day. It's something that is every cadet and every graduate of West Point remembers what their our day was like. What was it like for you as parents? Um, it started out, we actually gave him our blessing over at Trophy Point over here this morning. I wanted to pass a blessing on to him um, as my son, and I wanted to do it here at my wife's suggestion that here would be a good place because the next four years he will see that spot where we did it. And uh, so we, we did that yesterday. It's been quite a, quite a couple of days here. And then today, of course, was just uh, uh, getting ready and knowing that this is his passion. And he was excited. Uh, he runs, he runs, runs, runs. He loves to run. He wants to go out for the triathlon team. Um, he runs, he's run two marathons already and done very well in them. He's just that way. That's neat. And, and ma'am, uh, as, as a mom, it's, uh, our day. And, and, uh, I think just when your, your child goes to college for the first time, it's always a big deal, but at West Point, you know, it's a different environment and it's going to be a lot of ass and a lot of challenges and tasks. What was the day like for you? Um, wasn't quite as emotional as I thought it would be, thank goodness, because I prayed like crazy that I wouldn't break down and cry when we said goodbye to him. When they said, um, in the ceremony, we were in I call, and they said, uh, you have 60 seconds to say goodbye. Um, I shared with them the Bible verse that I've been praying for him, uh, and we said goodbye, and David and I said goodbye to him. We didn't hug. Uh, and he got into line. I think he was just relieved that he was finally able to just get into line and start it out. Um, so we were extremely glad for him. After he left, yeah, then I cried. <laughs> but it's just, I am so, I told my mom, I said, my cup is full. My cup is full. Um, he's achieved this, and we're just so, so happy for him. Well, our best wishes to you and your son from all of us at the American Legion. We're so glad that he had a chance to go to Boy State. That's just one of the premier uh, events uh, uh, by the American Legion. Absolutely, and we were very grateful for it and their part in that. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 uh, he grew a lot through that, through that boy state, and just all the way along. It's been step after step after step, yeah. and that was one of the steps. Well, absolutely. Our best wishes to you and your son, and, uh, and, and our best wishes to all your friends in the American Legion back in Wisconsin. This is Ken Kratzer at the United States Military Academy for Sons of the American Legion Radio.